Um, if you haven't noticed, we're all naked. We're doing the bare bones challenge. More or less, it's uh, we're only using pistols or anything less effective than a pistol, such as a crossbow, um, a pan, what have you. Anything that's just not that effective. I like to call it realistic PUBG. All right, so uh, Greg, tell us about tell us about climate change. All right, basically, global warming. Global warmings. See, we got this big ass flaming ball of plasma in the center of our solar system, right? It's called the sun. Uh huh. Yeah, you didn't know that. Oh, oh really? Are yeah. You sure? uh, yeah. I thought I thought Earth was the center. Oh God, did we got to? So you're telling me Earth's again? not the center? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Climate change. This is a flutter. Anyways, uh, <laughs> the heat from the sun uh, gets trapped in our atmosphere. Are these uh these four gases we call the greenhouse gases? You know what the greenhouse gases are? The four gases? Uh, carbon dioxide, right? Carbon dioxide. I don't know. What carbon dioxide's one. I'm no. not sure what the other ones are. We got methane, water vapor, and the ozone. Oh, now, nice. now basically, uh, these greenhouse gases, they're a good thing, because uh, without heat getting trapped in our atmosphere, I mean, it'd be a pretty fun cold place to live, you know, it'd just bounce right back off into space. But the problem Marks. is, yeah, the problem is we got to unbalance them gases now. Well, the theory is we're putting way too much pollution and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It's building up, oh. and it's causing more heat to get trapped, and that is basically what global warming is. Supposedly. Yep. What do you think's causing that, though? That's the big debate right there. I mean, scientists say that it's, it's human. Like, a lot of people say it's, like, just normal Earth activity. But, and possibly that um, we're facilitating it a little bit. But it's not nothing to worry about. Like, that's what, right. that's what people who are kind of against climate change. And me, personally, I, I think it's a real danger to us you know and our kids and our kids kids and it's something we should take into consideration right but um for tonight's stream i'm gonna try to have play like, the devil's advocate i'm gonna try to do a better job than do with flat oh, earth yeah not this um, again. so um, i don't know do you think maybe we should go on and invite our guest in since he is playing the game with us sure uh, everyone welcome <laughs> our good old buddy you might remember him from uh, episode two luke Oh shit! Oh, I'm just gonna kind of run that's... into the circle here, guys. Okay, I'll meet you guys. Okay. Okay. Drop all my stuff. You found a pistol? I just don't even have a pistol. Yeah, yeah I got a pistol already. I'm heading towards the loop right now. Okay. Okay. I still need to find something. I'll start. I guess I should start heading towards you guys though, so before caught outside the circle, too far away. So I'll start heading towards you guys. Towards you guys. Uh. Be careful if there is somebody over here. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. damn. I died. Right. I just died. Damn. Dang, <laughs> that sucks. That makes me so mad. All right. It's fine. So, the best I've got tonight is 89. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to beat our record of a second. <laughs> no. Right. I don't think so. Yeah, people are saying like maybe thousands of years, you know, flood waters are gonna happen, New York's gonna be underwater and stuff like that. But more imminent things I think of are like plastic in the ocean, the extinction That's, of yeah, like animals, the honeybees are on the endangered species list now. <laughs> yeah. And all these things are happening. It, it happens to the earth every so often. I mean throughout throughout history it's happened. You know, like Do you believe the like earth will heat up and it'll freeze? Thing. Yes, I think it's the Earth breathing. That's pretty much what I think I see it as. The Earth is like changing. So you don't think cold, humans have anything no. to do with it? No, I think we have a little to do with it. Don't get me wrong. We got okay. a little bit. You think bit it's facilitating it. it a little bit? Yeah. Like greenhouse gases and stuff like Craig was talking about. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Luke, Quick. tell me, when was the first time okay. you were introduced to global warming? I don't know. Probably about 15 years ago or something like that. Whenever uh, In Inconvenient Truth came out by Al Gore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was me too, that same documentary. Did that make it seem pretty imminent, pretty yeah. scary? Yeah. I mean, that, that was Did you think like we'd be underwater campaign, 15 years? You know? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, they, <laughs> they, they, put, they show the day after tomorrow so much in school, I've got it, uh, like, memorized. Because we're relying on fossil fuels right now, and fossil yeah. fuels aren't unlimited. They're going to run out eventually, even if it's not oh, soon. Yeah. Like, so switching to an alternative energy source isn't just about, you know, saving the, saving the Earth's climate. It's about saving us in the future from not having another source lined up when the oil runs yeah. out. That's why free energy is such a good idea. I saw like a, a seven year old that like invented like this free energy machine, like with 15 bucks, you know? Yeah, I heard about that. Do you believe in like the suppression of that kind of um, information and technology? Oh like, yeah, there was a guy the back in the, like, the 80s, he invented a car that ran solely on water. So and yeah, then he died like, that. you know, as soon as that happened, you know. Did he die or was he, he murdered? He was murdered. Why well, I think people are still skeptical of it, even though 97% of scientists believe it's a real Well, I think people are just occurrence. skeptical in general about everything now. I think there's right. multiple answers on yeah. that. I think uh, the right. first yeah, point is true. there's something called uh, optimism <laughs> bias. Do you guys know what optimism bias is? No. I've heard of confirmation bias. Is that basically, what you're uh, about? No, optimism bias is like oh. basically where we all believe that nothing bad can happen to us in some way like we we don't want to believe things because oh yeah it's kind of like when a uh right. when a hurricane hits we're like ah who cares that doesn't affect me it's never that'll to never us. happen to me and then it, boom it does happen you get katrina or like you yep. think uh when you go into a store that store will never get robbed because you know we just want to be optimist this? yeah yeah okay another big point of it is probably the most powerful point of why there's so many non-believers is politics in general i mean we got two major political parties one oh, party yeah. one party overwhelmingly agrees and then another party you know deny it you know you get climate deniers right right and i, th and I think which, the third which... the third reason would be religion i think a lot of people you know anything scientific they don't want to believe it you know if something bad's happening they just yep. believe it's you know the coming of christ or something. god's will yeah, yeah right, right right i feel like with flat earth as well as um, climate change like people want right. to believe that nothing's wrong and they'll cherry pick ideas like from the bible and exactly stuff. It's so often you see that science like disproves things in the bible all the time and when right. you choose to see nasa and when you choose to see all these governments as like not real and not you know factual evidence it it helps reaffirm their beliefs and and god the bible mentions everything revolving around the earth and much like flat earth i mean the one thing they have in common is the science community overwhelmingly agrees <laughs> i think it's like 97 97 yeah. percent of scientists yeah and oh, yeah. even though that seems like a large percentage there's still over a thousand scientists that are kind of skeptical in some ways whether or not it's human yeah but that's good though it's good that we still have those skeptical scientists you know it's possible that climate change isn't something that's very imminent like it's definitely a real thing. What do you think the best way to fix this is going to be, Luke? What do you think our best, best solution? path uh, to go down? Yeah, the best solution. Stop using cars. <laughs> Stop yeah. using plastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. We got visitors. Do you think sorry. Trump has had a... Okay, no, it's cool. I'll wait. I'll wait. Are they gone? I'll wait until yeah, they're, they're gone. Yeah, they're gone now. Okay. So, do you think Trump has had an impact on Americans' belief in climate change? Like, do you think he swayed people in one way or another? Like, not really, because I it? really haven't heard anything about it since he became president. You know. Well, didn't he like recently, um, like, unsign from the French treaty or something? Oh, the yeah, Paris, yeah. the uh -huh. Paris Treaty or something like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, a lot of people who, God forbid, look up to Trump probably who might have actually believed somewhat in climate change might have just switched to the dark side. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of <laughs> yeah, scary to think true. about. Space Force. <laughs> it's just, it's just Space Force. I actually haven't read a lot about that. What? Can you explain that a little bit? That's a, an, it's another yeah. branch of the military now, apparently. <laughs> so, we're going to have Space Rangers uh, now. I mean, it was bound to happen eventually. The Republican yeah, Space it. Rangers. <laughs> build a build a space wall. <laughs> yeah, space wall. Yeah, that would be funny. Oh man, we're gonna make Mars pay for it. What the hell? <laughs>
Ah! Oh, we are so fucked. Let's get us a kill. Get him! <laughs> He's by himself, I think. Oh, shit! I gotta reload. Oh, yeah, it's coming around, it's coming around. It's coming around. Ah, he got me. Dude, he saw my ass. Dude, I had to shoot. He, was, he saw me. Oh, crap. Fuck. Oh, oh, damn. Oh. He's probably like, what 14. is with these naked, these naked bitches? <laughs> <laughs> he can scare the shit out of him, I think. He ran away. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. He's Dude, checking your body for nothing. <laughs> oh, shit. There was three of them. Before we start the next match, let's take a minute to talk about a great new product that we're all excited about, and we think you will be too. Look, we're all worried to death about how we're going to make it through this difficult time. Each year, it's getting hotter, steamier, and more uncomfortable, but our great friends over at Planet Warm have designed a great new product that will help all of us get through this difficult time with little to no discomfort. I'm talking, of course, about the Planet Warm Survival Kit. Designed to help you adjust to life on our toasty planet, this lightweight bag made from only environmentally friendly materials contains all the necessary tools that you will need to make your life as comfortable as possible while you slowly bake to death. Each bag contains a bottle of newly engineered universal SPF sunscreen for all skin types, a portable handheld spray fan designed with a gripped handle for maximum control. Also, in case your home ends up under the oceans, you'll float to safety with a pair of one-size-fits-most arm floaties. And you'll be dying in style with their styling UV sunglasses. You'll get all of this for the low price of only $29.99. And if you order now, use the promo code BEANS, they'll throw in a signed poster at Al Gore at no charge. Look, I've already brought mine, and you should too. So head on over to planetwarm.earth and get yours now before they all get sold. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, it's not just that people aren't educated. Some people just right. choose not to, you know? I feel like a lot of people feel like science is kind of like just a bunch of people who, like, make stuff up. Yeah, You know, right. like, I don't think people yeah. realize that hours and hours of research and and studies. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. How do you explain Noah's what? Global warming? How ironic would it be if Ken Ham survived global warming floods in his giant arc? That would be awesome. We were in circles, so... Let's go. Oh shit, I'm just finally getting to a building. Got me a pistol. Did we uh, have a pistol in a pan? This map kind of reminds me of the what the Earth's going to look like in about 20 years. What if this map is actually the old map in the future? Man. Oh. What if climate change wow. did this? Blue my mind. I don't know what's going on down, down there. Oh. <laughs> it's making me hot. <laughs> I think it would be funny if at every I'm... show you're just like, I'm going to advocate for this, <laughs> and then you just talk shit about it the whole show. <laughs> I completely don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just very biased in my beliefs, I guess, so it's hard for me to play. It's hard for me to play Devil's Advocate. Sorry, that's why we need people on here. So, if you if you firmly believe in something, message us. Get in contact with us. We'll get you on here. Uh, I forget what year it was. Maybe 2014. But there was a study where it showed that Antarctica actually gained ice mass. Like it actually gained ice in the in a couple years. And there's actually like a good growth of ice whereas you know a lot of people who are saying climate change you know there should be less ice if it's getting warmer right pretty much what he says is that um when when antarctica and the glaciers melt those are mostly made of um fresh water as opposed to salt water and fresh water if you remember from seventh grade freezes a lot quicker than salt water does so when all of this fresh water is released into the ocean or like the surrounding areas, it freezes a lot quicker than the ocean water, to, like the salt water. So like in appearance, like, yeah, you are getting more land mass, but it's just that fresh water that has melted previously that's freezing a lot quicker than the salt water. And there are also other parts of Antarctica that are still losing. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> we're going to get you. <laughs> Why did you tell me you were doing this? <laughs> yeah, let's try to remember where that square is. So JC, right? Is that what you said? That's where we're at. Yeah, yeah. so JC. 
So, if we get the old map, we'll go to JC. And, we'll and I'm looking see north if it looks right now. Anyway, similar. In all honesty, I think it's pretty clear that they're not going to be the same. <laughs> right. Race, we're racing. Okay. There we go. Never mind. So if I'm looking north from where I'm at from JC, we should see a mountain, possibly. I don't know. What comes before a plateau? I don't just want to lay in the back of this truck until someone comes here. Where are you? Do we just completely leave Craig? Yes. Yeah, he's way back here. <laughs> I think I left you all, didn't I? Craig, did you leave us? I swear that's Trump's wall. I'm gonna have this truck down on the hill from him. This could be post-apocalyptic America. Moral of the story is, climate change may not affect you, but more than likely it will affect your grandkids, or possibly even your kids, so you should definitely worry about it. Definitely see a, and I think, a doctor uh, about that know, rash on your butt. The younger generation is actually more <laughs> cared about it than we are, like the generation behind us. That's a good thing. I oh, think yeah. They're, they're more aware of a lot of things, yeah, especially than thing. I was at that Which age. is good. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Here comes the plane again. I'm shooting at it. There we go. Hit it. Oh, <laughs> shit. Shot it. Oh, what shit. What the fuck, dude? I had the truck. This is how we survive the apocalypse, man. We just fucking. Yeah, we're gonna hide in trucks, get naked and hide in trucks. That's how we survive. <laughs> hey now, you crazy? Uh, we're outside. The, we're outside. Oh the circle. shit! Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Load your guns, boys. Right way at all. So close. Twenty-three, twenty-two. Damn, that was right there, next to us. Oh my gosh. Fuck. Huh. You're gonna bring people to Damn. me. Damn. There's a fucking truck over there too. Yeah, I see Damn a guy it. on top of that hill. Saw us. They started coming towards us. Fuck. I know they saw us. Damn it. They saw us great run. The truck coming right can't up to us. Hill. Oh, fuck. I yeah, couldn't get up the hill. Yeah, there's a team right I'm there, Craig. We gotta go. They're gonna see us. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. Come on. Hey, look out. Look out, Greg. Oh, oh shit. Oh, they get to the shooting. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. Dang. Seven. 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 Uh, be sure to drink your Ovaltine and also uh, tune in uh, next Sunday. Do you have anything to add, Luke? No. Nope. All right. Well, peace. Peace.